Hey Vion, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. Now, I get a lot of text saying that my interview was must gaya tha, when I question bhi solved kar diya, but I got rejected. So what I did was I went back to a lot of uh, friends who uh, take uh, interviews at uh, different different product based companies and I got to know what are the procedures in which they decide whether to hire a candidate or not. Now there are four key criteria on which they decide. One of them is definitely you have to solve the problem or you, you have to at least reach near to the uh, best possible solution like complexity wise. The second criteria was how do you communicate your thought process. That basically tells the interviewer ki kya aap uh, ek team ke liye suitable ho ki nahi. Kyunki aap jo soch rahe ho agar aapko convey hi nahi kar sakte. So probably uh, going forward even if you think something uh, you will be not able to communicate, right? When you work on the team. The third thing that people see is the code quality. Now, a lot of times people do not emphasize on this and trust me, code quality plays a huge, huge, huge factor in interviews. Like when I just gave my Google interview and I cleared them, there was a certain stuff, uh, like there was, there was a feedback that its code quality is very tough. So code quality bohat matter karta hai, even if you're like not being able to solve the question completely but if your code quality is right up there people will vouch for you ki isko hire karo and the fourth thing jo hota hai that is up test cases like edge test cases discuss kar rahe ho ki nahi while solving a problem so aaj ke video mein main aapko code quality ke bare mein batane wala hu so what i did was uh, i think couple of days back or three days back i did put up a community post where i said ki ye ye questions hai ye char questions lo Put up your code on your on some ID1 link or some ID link and I'll be reviewing those codes and I'll be telling you what are the best practices or code quality ko best kaise banaya jai. So yeah, bina kisi intazar ke code quality ka review shuru karte hai. And just a disclaimer, mere paas around 500 plus responses aaye te but that's practically impossible. So I give four problems to mein kya karunga? Har problem ka best code ko mene almost nikal ke rakha hai. And in that code, I am going to tell you about the best practices to maintain karna hai while writing a code in an interview. I am also going to tell that. So, without waiting, let's get started. So, this was the Google form which I shared tha, and I said that the form will get closed on 17th but due to a lot of responses had to close uh, before that so make sure you subscribe to this channel and put a look at the community tab always because i'm gonna uh, come up with such interesting ideas in the coming future as well okay so basically i gave you uh, four problems one was the rotting oranges uh, the next one was uh, candy uh, the next one was number of islands and then there was subset sum so the first code is rotting oranges that's uh, submitted by i think pratris kumar singh he's from srm 2022 so just a quick disclaimer key these problems I have solved on my channel hai, but the code over there is not something which I generally write in interviews like it's near about that but there's a lot of other factors which I always keep in mind while I am in an interview so I'll be telling you all those factors while reviewing these codes the first code is rotten oranges so what do we have? we have rotten oranges where we have a grid given so what he did was he took NM so the first thing that as an interviewer I will not like about this is a lot of things being done in a single function never ever do that if you see the code is getting super long try to break them down into functions that is something which you should always do like over here i have seen something like what i see is uh, he is having something like uh, a queue and is uh, pushing all the all the rotten oranges into that queue so probably he could have modularized this and he could have kept a function which uh, give me the rotten oranges and that function could have returned a queue right because queue is also a data structure so that function could have returned a queue where he just uh, he will just pass on the grid and uh, that guy this entire thing could have been done over there now in order to count rotten oranges you can easily get the like you can easily have done something like rotten oranges equal to a queue dot size so in that in that sense you would have easily got the rotten oranges and to count the total oranges probably you could have done something differently but i would have preferred if it have written a modularized a code for getting rotten oranges instead of pushing it over here because it's it's a function right it's it's a functionality to count, to get all the rotten oranges could have done that uh, next there is dx dy that's okay mx time again that is good enough this is i i loved one fact that instead of taking something like like he could have declared a queue of pair of pairs but he, what he did was he declared a class 
generally that is what is preferred you declare a struct or a class if you are having multiple variables so to ease out readability that is something which i'll give a plus marks previous time again amazing max time that is good again this one this one is a very important factor i've seen a lot of people whenever there is something like a plus or minus they tend to uh, right take this like the highlighted stuff and if can that they pura wo likh dete so that is absolutely wrong you should not do it you should always do it like new underscore x or whatever you should keep them in a variable and then use those variable because that is something which is giving me a clear idea that okay this is what this variable does and uh, the next thing which i did not like about this was this is something which is again a function you're basically saying is it uh, valid or not valid coordinates so probably you could have put them into a function that would have been much much better it looks okay to me as i said i'm not this like if i'm reviewing the code it doesn't means ki jo code likha hai us pe tum interview nahi clear karoge i'm suggesting the best possible ways to remove any chance in terms of code quality aisa na ho ki koi bole ki code quality kharab hai absolutely sare chances ko remove kar do agar koi chances hai to theek hai to ye to mere ko sahi lag raha hai this looks good enough so this is how you should code it just make sure if the code is getting very longer try to modularize them into functions and try to write uh, functions as a so that ye aapko nikal ke de de ना कि आप उसको करो बेसिकली uh, इसको एक प्रिंसिपल कहते हैं इंडिविजुअल प्रिंसिपल आई डोंट रिमेम्बर द एग्जैक्ट नेम जहाँ पे आप फंक्शन को बोलते हो कि ये ले अब तू मुझे अब काम करके दे तो ये काम करके आपको क्यू दे देगा सो ये गिव यू द क्यू ओके एनी वेज आई थिंक यू कुड हैव जस्ट डन इट बेटर बट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट दिस कोड looks uh, good enough so i'd love to thank relable for sponsoring this video now in the past few days you would have heard about relable across all the platforms so i have some amazing news for you so relable has come up with two new roles which is business analytics and data analytics which gives you from jobs from 4 lpa up till 22 lpa now there are around 200 plus leading companies that trust relable like cred mongage one mg mesho urban company upgrad How does this work? You have to register for the test. You have to take the test, interview with employers, and then accept the offer. Who can take the test? Anyone above the age of 18. You need to pay fees. No, it's absolutely free. How do you need to register? It's very simple. How do you get jobs? You need to pass the score of 700. If you don't clear the cutoff, you can reapply after 30 days. Showing you one of the tests that is backend development test. It will have a phase one, which will be basics and accessing your algorithm skills, and there will be a phase two where you have to score above 70 plus. You don't need a degree. You don't need a CGPA. Nothing. If you are 18 plus and you have the skills, you can definitely try out Relable. So what are you waiting for? India's finest companies are hiring on Relable. Make sure you check out the links in the description. Let's go to the next one. That was subset sum. Ah, uh, this is by Snigth Bharadwaj from Graphic Era Hill University, Dehradun. So, okay, it mean ah, uh, this is good. That's good. Something I did like about the input pattern is ah, uh, you took a reference, which is again a wonderful one. Some this is again. Okay. This will never be considered in code quality. So let's go across and consider this portion as the code quality. Now, if you look this code from a very high level, like you will be like, "Kya hai sahi to hai?" Again, I'm not judging if you will be selected or rejected. I'm just saying that what what best work can do. Ah, someone will say that this is perfect. I'm like, "Yeah, this is perfect. No doubt that this is not perfect." But if an if I am as an interviewer, what will I see? Okay, I minus one. I minus one. I minus one. So a minus one operation being done again, 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 which is something not sensible. So probably you could have uh, kept this as previous index i minus one, and you could have just given previous index. So it's so better to read, right? Previous index gives a much better idea, right? So this is these are something like minor things, but trust me, it works like charm to the interviewer. Like if you always, if there is a variable minus plus, put them into variable and then try to use that variable after that. That works as absolute charm. Trust me. Again, S minus val. So you might say that uh, S minus val is okay, but on an interview perspective, if someone is watching, what is S minus val? I don't know what is S minus val. So as a code quality, because if someone is reading your code, like I don't know what is, I know the problem, but I don't know what is S minus val. So whatever is that, you have to name it. Like assume X Y Z. I'm just naming it as X Y Z, and then you have to put S minus val. You can give a suitable name, whatever you have done. and then you can give that x y z so this gives a much better readability okay so just make sure always just make sure always whenever you are coding if there is something like minus plus try to put them into variables and then try to write them over here that's the that's the best possible thing you could always do okay apart from that i think uh, pretty much looks uh, good enough to me so the next one was uh, count islands now this is submitted by shamsid naik cv raman global university 
okay so he has to count islands let's see if there is something which i can like on a very high level again looks a very good quality good good quality uh, something again uh, this is bad a lot of times i've seen people write i lesser than red dot size i'm not saying this code will not run or you'll get rejected but this isn't a good practice always always make sure you do this no matter what happens because uh, some compilers not all the compilers tend to count it again and again like uh, every time the for loop executes dot size function will be called and uh, if you if you do this in code forces you might end up getting tle as well because dot, dot size takes up a bigo of a uh, length time complexity so you're adding up a length time complex so instead of that have something like this so that it's much more readable okay okay that's that's good enough always again one more thing i'll always mention always uh, i'll mention one more thing whenever you're giving an interview if you're writing grid uh, zero dot size you have to be uh, very careful uh, if this uh, zero throw exists or not so make sure you ask the interviewer all these questions let's uh, check it out grid ij equal to equal to one okay uh mark i still this is correct so again this one uh, uh what is this one i'm not sure right so depending on the question if one was marking islands so probably you can write car island or car non island then you could put up put up that one uh, it's a minor things but looks very good to the eyes something like if character island is island then it's one something like this and uh, then you could have uh, written car not island not island and you could have written z so something like this would have been much much better right and then you could have write over here is island so it gives a much better readability because i don't know what is one right so again minor things but looks good enough uh, again uh, something you have made it a private function now this is okay i'll not say okay, this is bad uh, you can do it because it's not globally declared it's member function of this class so it isn't globally globally is when it is accessible to every other corner but this is not accessible but do i need uh, these uh, direction x and direction y anywhere apart from this it's only re uh, required in this function so probably you could have kept it inside this and that would have been a much better job you could have simply kept it inside this that would have been a much much better job again the other thing that i will again say is a uh, valid check should be in a function always private function always in a private function this has to be private okay let's see continue nm again okay, again uh, naming naming convention has to be super clear uh, nm doesn't make sense because n is generally used for length and m is generally used for the columns uh, so it will not make sense so just rename the uh, these things apart from that i think looks pretty good enough looks good enough to me so yeah we can we can move on to the next uh, one but just make sure you put them into okay so the next one is uh, aryan hit uh, from m e s t m e okay so candy this was a deep uh, this was kaun sa question hai jo bhi hai okay so assuming i don't again the same thing i minus 1 i minus 1 put them into previous index see improves the readability so much isn't it n minus 2 again not not a good way to declare you have to always be like you can write this but if you are focusing on code quality always like this always gives a much better readability that it starts from the second last index because n minus 2 i'm not sure you are doing one based indexing or two based indexing so when i say second last index it gives me an idea okay it starts from second last index whenever you say n minus 2 then i have to ask you uh, are you taking zero based or not so it gives a much much better idea right again i plus 1 so you can put it at uh, forward index next index or forward or whatever you can call it next index equal to i plus 1 so you can be like next index and over here you can also give next index and one more thing over here uh, this is not a good practice always use reference because if you are creating it that means you are creating one more space kind of thing and that takes that vector val element into it so it's a separate variable whenever you are saying on a reference it only iterates on that so reference is a bit of uh, easy on space like come space later whenever it's like and of id takes uh, lesser space whenever it's normal id takes much more space so that's a better way to write and do i see anything else apart from this apart from this uh, looks good enough to me it was a simple code but i hope uh, i think this was the fourth code i hope you have got the favorite of idea about how to code modularize code don't use pair of pairs use classes or structs i minus 1 i plus 2 no variable namings are very 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 important i think these are the factors you have to keep 
and i'll be coming up with more code reviews where i'll be also telling you about like well while i'll review try and all these codes i'll be telling about how important is class i'll also be leaving some linked list code again where i'll be telling you how important is object oriented programming if you want to just stand out in terms of code quality so let me know in the comment section if you want the second episode of code review then i'll again be sharing a doc link on the community tab please keep your eye on that and yeah i hope you have uh, enjoyed this video and you got to learn something so just in case you did please please like this video and if you haven't checked our other channel which goes by the name aq forward please please check it out because it has a lot of data structure algorithm content which might help you in preparing for interviews so yeah with this uh, i will be uh, taking your leave let's meet in the next video where probably we'll be doing something else do not forget to subscribe bye bye take care